Welcome to Jazzy Talk. Hello, 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 and welcome to my show. Coming up, I have an exclusive interview, telephone interview, that is, with Mr. Andre Seville. You've heard him. You've heard him on Jazzy100.com. You've heard him on Facebook. And you probably, if you live in Las Vegas or visit Las Vegas, you've probably heard him perform in person through the A-List production company. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Let me find my sunglasses so I can see what I'm doing. When did you start singing, man? Uh, right out of college. Okay. Uh, who yeah, was so? I, I started. I really started late. I really started late. Okay. Uh, better late than never. You know. You know. You know that saying. Um. When uh, now you come from Houston, right? Right. Let me tell you this: when I was like in school, high school, I couldn't sing. <laughs> I was the one, you know, when we were in the car and everybody started singing that song on the radio. And when I started singing, everybody would look at me and tell me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know, when we were in the locker room. You know, after practice, and everybody starts singing that song, and I start singing, everybody tells me to shut up. <laughs> I, I just started listening to, Mar you know, I used to listen to Marvin Gaye in the headphones all day, mm -hmm. Sam Cooke. And so I started, I even listened to Frank Sinatra and, and Elvis and Tony Bennett, and I started learning how to mimic them. And so those were like my vocal coaches through the years. Wow. Very interesting, very interesting story, and a true one, no doubt. Um, um the Las Vegas scene, uh, the Las Vegas uh, audiences have seen to take in, has seen to take to you and your style. I remember you did a spinner song at the Celebrity Open Mic. And uh, you did it very well uh, with no rehearsal or anything. And that A-list band is dynamite. But um, uh, uh, do you ever get nervous uh, or get butterflies when you have to take the stage and uh, and sing? Always. Okay. All right. Always, and I always felt, and, a, and, a, and an entertainer, an old entertainer, told me when you get to the point where you do not have those, something is gone. You've lost something. You always need to get to just like a game. You know, I, I learned that from being an athlete. Uh -huh. You always get those butterflies that keeps you, that keeps all the juices flowing, your, your, your tenacity, everything that keeps you, gets it all going. Like they say, put on your game face. Yeah. You know, and let, let's go, it's time to go to work. But that's that's my high, yeah, that's, that's a high for me. All right. I never needed drugs, alcohol, all I need is one, two, three people. Really don't even need a microphone. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, I was with you, uh, I was interviewing uh, you with Joyce, uh, excuse me, there I go again, Joey LaShawn, and uh, you, made, you made a statement to this effect. If you keep all the women of the world happy, then we won't have many problems. Can you elaborate on that? I believe that. You look at, you look at a man is really nothing without that, that woman, that queen, he's always looking for uh, that queen. You take these athletes, uh, all these superstar million dollar athletes negotiating these deals, you don't think that those agents and those owners, once that wife is happy with that contract, that player's gonna be happy with their contract. <laughs> Okay, man. I, I hear what you're saying. I've uh, I won't go I won't go in that territory because I've I've had I've had some experience. Uh, my own personal experiences would not uh, be uh, qualified at this particular time. But let's stick to the music. And uh, but I hear what you're saying, and I and I I, I believe that. Um, you have a show coming up at the Tempo Lounge at the luxurious Las Vegas uh, Hilton. When? Oh, that's going to be next Saturday, August the 6th. Showtime will be about 9 o'clock, and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. It'll be a lot of fun. 
That Temple Lounge is very intimate, very cozy. You can get a, a nice sized crowd in there and, uh, and people uh, can have a real good time. And uh, if you're going to be laying the love ballads on them and, uh, 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 and, your, and your music collection, I don't know what your playlist is going to be, but uh, I know that uh, I'm going to try and be there and, um, and take in the entertainment because uh, you are an entertainer like many of uh, the throwbacks, uh, uh, Marvin Gaye, uh, Jackie Wilson, um, uh, many of the balladeers who uh, or crooners, if you will, uh, you 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 take the stage and uh, uh, you deliver, man. That's that's all I can say. I like your music. I like your style. You're a quiet guy, and uh, you know you move at your own pace. Yeah, I appreciate that, Jazzy. And and my, see, I I had in myself to be a real entertainer. When I say that. I mean, I understand, I'm an entertainer that understands my job description. When those people are talking about the Temple Lounge, and that's what I love about it, it's very, it's a very sexy place, and you can have a lot of people in there and still, there's room to move, you can be over here, be over there, but when I get there, and the people that are there, they are under my control, oh. and I know that, so <laughs> I am going to make them forget about all the BS they went through during the course of the day. So when you walk in for the next three to four hours, you're mine. I got you. I got your emotions. I got your excitement. I got everything, and I'm going to make sure that you enjoy yourself for these next three, four hours. Have a good time. I'm going to take you back to your high school days. I'm going to bring you up. I'm going to make you fall in love. I'm going to give you the opportunity to fall in love with somebody. I'm going to give you the opportunity to meet somebody, even want to meet somebody. See, I understand when the music is going good, it's not too loud, it's just perfect. The right songs are coming across. Everybody's in a mellow, good, feel-good mood, and that's my job description, make everybody feel good. All and right. the bartender. <laughs> all right, all right. Andre Seville, ladies and gentlemen, he will be appearing live or performing live at the Club Tempo inside the Las Vegas Hilton on August the 6th. And when does the show start, uh, Andre? Nine, nine o'clock. And Jazzy, I have to say, I really appreciate you, Jazzy 100, and what you're doing and how you're helping. I mean, you're actually helping a lot of entertainers, as myself, get to that next level. And, and there are not a lot of people out there like you. Well, I'm a throwback. <laughs> I'm a throwback. I really appreciate it by this entertainer. I'm telling you that now. Well, I appreciate your acknowledgement, and uh, I'm just doing what I love to do. I'm doing what I used to do until the 1996 Telecommunications Act wiped most of the independent radio stations off the air. So now the digital playing field has been leveled. We got the internet and social networks, and we are using these bad boys. And. Got it. And upon that, on that note, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to segue out of this uh, segment. And uh, I don't have the, all the right hookups, but I had to do this real fast. But anyway, I got the right hookup for you now. Take a listen to Andre Seville. Sexy girl, you turn me on. See, I ain't never had someone to make me speechless. But that body's got me wanting you. And the way you move it. You know just how to use it It's emancipating, creative, elevating Oh girl, is that a question? Do I like it? If I like it, baby 